Hi, my name is Pop. This is a video that shows how to install Lemon Point of Sale. Lemon Point of Sale is a cash register program that runs in Linux Ubuntu. Ubuntu is another operating system that comes in third after Windows and then Apple. Uh, you have to pay for Windows and you have to pay for Apple which runs on a Macintosh. Linux Ubuntu runs on almost any computer. And this is a cash register program and I want to point out first and foremost that I did not make the video. I am only adding sound to the existing video. The video for installation is already out there on the web but it does not have any sound and I am re-recording over it. I have four other videos with sound on YouTube about Lemon Point of Sale. Lemon comes from Mexico. It is a free program that can be used in any store and it uh, supports a barcode reader it does not support uh, a credit card reader. It makes written receipts and it tracks inventory and you can use multiple cash registers. I will now start the existing video and this existing video shows you how you can go to the internet to SourceForge and copy uh, a couple of scripts. Here's one, the command used was. You copy that with a control C, you open the terminal, and you paste it, and it runs the installation program. The problem with installing this program is that you cannot use the Ubuntu Software Center alone in order to install Lemon. Although it is in the Ubuntu Software Center, it is not sufficient. The Ubuntu Software Center is in Applications and you open up Software Center. It takes a couple seconds to load and I have an instance uh, of this in there and I have actually even made uh, a small review of Lemon Point of Sale. Uh, I have tried to be even about it, neither uh, a glowing review nor harshly critical. I don't think it should even be in the Ubuntu Software Center since you can't use it to load the program. You have to use this uh, other method. This other method that's in the video without sound uh, takes about 10 minutes as you can see in the bottom right to install the set of packages. The first thing you've got to do is install MySQL and uh, actually I would now like to take this time to complain about Ubuntu altogether. It has a 2% market share compared to Windows and compared to Apple. And this is probably the main reason right here. It's very, very difficult to install certain programs. It's so difficult, in fact, that your average person is just not going to uh, go through all of this. Once you do get it loaded, uh, it is a really, really good program. I'm going to just follow along. This is the Lemon Point of Sale main page and uh, it advertises that there are some videos but actually there are no videos and this page has been up for quite some time over a year and uh, you get the program itself from SourceForge. SourceForge will allow you to download Lemon Point of Sale and also get the latest and greatest version of it. There are new versions of it being updated 
constantly. And if you use this method to install the program, you can be assured of getting the most up-to-date issue. The 10 minutes worth of installation here is how long it will take on your computer also. When you install a program in Windows, usually you've got a .exe file and that's all there is to it. Uh, Linux, that's another story. Some of them are small and easy to use. This one is quite, quite complicated. I suspect that if a, a good installation package were created for this, that this one program would become among the most popular Ubuntu programs in existence. Ubuntu and Linux are relying heavily upon OpenOffice.org Writer and the spreadsheet program and to a certain extent the uh, database program. OpenOffice.org you know has split and now it is called Libre, L-I-B-R-E. Those programs are now at the very very center of Ubuntu and without those programs I don't think there even would be an Ubuntu. And this program is so good, actually, I think that if this program had quick and easy installation, and if it came with Ubuntu and were already loaded with the next release, that this would be a great benefit for mankind in general because it is a business program that a small business can use to run a store. And if it could be configured to take credit cards in the United States, this program would really sing. I recommend that when you do an installation of this yourself that you run the video up in the corner and then simultaneously open uh, the internet and do these things and follow the video and then pause the video. I'm using VLC uh, to run the video and to pause VLC you hit the space bar I really appreciate that when a person is uh, a high-level programmer or a hobbyist who is conversant with uh, Linux and Unix that this may not be much of a chore. But for the rest of us, this is just entirely over the top. Uh, most people cannot follow instructions when they uh, have many steps and are complicated. Uh, there are too many, uh, too many possibilities of making a mistake and then the thing will not install. In fact, when I did this the first time, it took me so many tries, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but finally I did get it loaded and uh, the program's quite good. I cannot figure out what half of this stuff is myself. I, I just don't know.
I sure do have a lot of admiration for the guy who wrote it. He speaks Spanish and it appears to me that most of uh, Unix and Linux is in English. Not only does he have to be uh, bilingual but also understand uh, the complex business of Linux. I did notice that there is a very, very, very peculiar thing with taxes in Mexico, which I do not understand. Uh, built in to this program, Lemon, there is something with taxes that escapes me. In the United States, we either have things to be taxable or non-taxable, and the money goes to the state and to the city, but it's all collected as one entity. In Texas, where I live, uh, labor is not taxable and parts are. So you've got either taxable or non-taxable and then when you have an invoice that combines items that are physical entities plus labor, you've got a combination. Most merchants throw everything into labor to avoid taxes as much as they legally can. In other states, it's a different story. They tax labor as well. Well, it looks like we've got Squeeze going here and he's he's putting in the uh, configuration screen. His terminal is purple in color, mine is white. Uh, I think that's just a minor matter of uh, choosing a color. Username, password, admin and Linux are default, but you can change those. The terms vendor and client are used differently in Spanish. Well, that's the end of his video. And if you follow that exactly, you too will be able to install Lemon Point of Sale. I have four other videos showing how to use Lemon. Uh, and I have made this one last on how to install it. My name is Pop. And I thank you very much.